Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. This is Motor Mike Media and as always I'm Motor Mike and today it's very cold but we have a cool car in front of us. This is my uncle's latest purchase, a 1992 Buick Riviera, a luxury coupe. These things drive great and they look pretty neat too. You can see up front you have this chrome accent grill, good old bumper guards up front, a nice little chrome grill and right here Riviera by Buick because this is the premium Buick of the time. The Riviera has its own logo that sticks up on top of the hood. I miss these old little emblems. Mercedes had them, the Cadillacs had them, some Buicks had them with the Buick logo, but the Riviera was special, had its own logo, and it's right there in the front. This is a cool looking car. Let's go to the side profile. Now, when you look at the side profile of this vehicle, the hood overall isn't that long, but you have these big long side doors, which I really like. A nice overall silhouette, lots of chrome accents. Back in the day, Buicks, Cadillacs, Lincolns, a lot of chrome means a lot of luxury. But the cool thing is, it's got the little corner piece vinyl top. It's in really good shape. The trim is still nice, it's not pitted, and you have that Riviera logo right here. It's a nice little contrast in color. Everything flows real nicely, and these rims. These are my favorite design rims. Back in the day, you could have got like a full wire spoke wheel cap. Those look really sharp with this body style, but I like how everything's kind of smoothed out and this rear end tapers down. Now let's go look at those taillights. So the rear end of the Buick Riviera, everything slopes down, awesome looking taillights that have the Riviera logo once again, chrome bumpers, little bumper guards, the whole trunk panel slopes down and you have this little window in the back. Now, you can still have pretty good visibility. We can still see all that vinyl's in good shape. Everything's wrapped around. But you open this trunk, pretty good space in here. Now this is a low setting vehicle, so you can get things in here, maximize the space here. But I like these lights, I like the bumper. The overall design of this vehicle, it's very classy, very elegant. But let's go inside real quick. So walking up to the Buick Riviera, like I said, big long doors, chrome handles. Oh, these are heavy doors. But I like the door panel. Overall, a little bit of damage here. I like these old straps. You got the nice vinyl here. Switch gear. Fake wood, obviously, from the finest plastic trees, but real metal switch gear that feels good. And these seats. These seats have a nice pattern to them. They're super soft, super comfortable. And then the dashboard. This is a digital gauge cluster. I'll show you that in a second. Two spoke wheel design. You have all your simple radio controls going down to an automatic transmission, center console. And yes, you do have back seats and a nice little handle to help you get back there. And little side windows, which is nice. Little lights in the back. Now the headliner is sagging a bit, but I do like this interior, this great design and the Riviera design overall. It's uh, a very good for its time. So what I want to do is get into the back seat of this vehicle because yes, technically it's a coupe, but can the back seat actually be usable? So just so you guys know, the front seat is actually a uh, automatic system. So basically it's all powered. The driver's all manual, but you can hit the switch, flip it up. And you can fit right back here. Now the cool thing is I have a place to rest my arm. I have this nice little uh, door handle, which has fake wood on it. It's nice vinyl, a nice little window. Uh, Headspace, I'm right about there. But if I'm sitting where I was sitting, I do have some uh, leg space, feet space. I got ashtrays back here because everyone smoked back in the day. Um, I actually wouldn't be bad for taking a small trip somewhere here. I do have a pretty good space and these seats are actually really comfortable. My legs are a little high though, but I wouldn't mind being back here for you know 20, 30 minutes. But anything longer than that, I probably want to sit up front. So sitting inside the Buick Riviera, uh, this little panel here has to be fixed. My uncle is doing some work on it, a little fake wood here, nice little storage compartment. But this is what was cool about this vehicle is this screen right here. Turning the vehicle on, digital gauge cluster. Now in modern ones, they're configurable and stuff, but Buick was one of the first to have this, as well as one of the first vehicles in GM's fleet to have a touchscreen as well. But look at the low miles, guys. 46,701 miles. This thing looks cool. And like I said, uh, Buick Riviera badge as well. Nice two-spoke steering wheel. Your horns are actually buttons. But uh, let's go for a drive real quick. So what is it like to drive a 1992 Buick Riviera? Well, it's super comfortable. These seats, I love the design of them. They feel soft, but when you sit in them, they're so, so comfortable. Now my dad has that Lincoln Mark 8 that has bolstered seats. I fit in them fine and I find them comfortable, but it doesn't fit everyone. 
anyone can sit in these and have a great time. Now, I like the layout of the dash. It's plastic, but there is some vinyl here and there to spruce it up. You have lots of fake wood from the finest of uh, plastic trees, but the ride overall is really good. Basically, when you drive this vehicle, it's on a cloud. No air ride suspension, but everything's nice and it's comfortable. I fit in here great. I have headroom, I have shoulder room, which is always a good thing to see in a vehicle. Now, I like the real metal uh, uh, switch gear here. It feels good, it looks good, nothing's peeling away. And even that fake wood, other than that broken panel, is still in really good shape. Overall, it's an enjoyable experience, and I love this digital gauge cluster. All right, so this is a luxury coupe, not a sports coupe, but let's just see what happens when I give it the beans. The whole car slumps back, very comfortable, very smooth. Now this isn't the quickest thing, but the 3800 engine, it's a pretty good engine. Pretty reliable, good power, good torque, pretty good on gas as well. Uh, when we get back, we're gonna pop the hood and talk about it just a little bit more. But another thing I do like is looking at that Buick Riviera emblem that sticks up on the hood. It's cool to see that. It just always points you in the right direction. Well, I was gonna pop the hood for you guys, but unfortunately the lever is broken. So he's gonna have to fix that. My uncle's also gonna have to fix the headliner. Inside the door, the one armrest is a little beat up, but there's not really a good fix for that. But that little door has to be fixed as well with the little plastic trim. But fixing those little things, cleaning this thing up really nice, he can make a buck on it. He paid about 3,200 bucks. This is a vehicle that has less than 50,000 original miles and has a 3,800 engine. Now, if you don't know what that is, the 3,800 engine is a 3.8 liter V6. It was around for GM for years and years. This was the early variant of it. Later on, there's a Series 2, which had more power. There's also a supercharged variant that was found in other Buicks, the Buick Riviera. After this, the next generation, had that supercharged engine in it. So I love these engines, they're really reliable. With just a few little maintenance things here or there to help make them more reliable, these things can last up to 300,000 plus miles. But I like this thing. I like the way it's styled. I like the chrome. I like the way it drives. It's one of those old school luxury vehicles that just floats around very comfortably. And you can get these very affordable. Like I said, my uncle paid 3,200 bucks for this example of one. So you can find one with more miles on it and get a better deal or find one like this and just spend a little bit more money. But that's all I have for you guys today. I thank you all for watching. And if you haven't already and you want to, please check out my channel. I keep trying to give you guys more and more content. It's about cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, combustion engines, just like this, and EVs, a little of everything. But please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you guys can stay up to date with the latest and greatest from my channel. And as always, I truly, truly appreciate you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.